the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Morning Glow. Welcome to another time in the presence of the Lord. It is going to be an awesome, great week, an awesome, great day. I declare and decree that you are entering this week with testimony. You are finishing it with testimonies to the glory of God. Father, we receive your blessing this morning. Let grace spread to every corner of the earth, touching your people, healing your people, setting captives free, filling them with joy. Lord, we thank you. Exceed our expectation, exceed our prayer, exceed our request, exceed our Christ to the glory of your name, in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. We'd like to welcome everyone who's joining us in Morning Glow today. Trust in the Lord that you will be blessed, you will be healed, you will be ministered to, and God will prepare you to take charge of the week. Welcome. Let us know where you join from, and please take the time to invite someone to be with us on Morning Glow today. Stand well in stains. The Lord bless you this morning. Warwick shall. Be blessed, be highly favored. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God, we celebrate everyone who's on the platform and we pray blessings on your life today. Let us know where you're joining from so we can appreciate you and thank God for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Tale straight over here, Millennium City, Kasuagana, blessings, Bedfordshire, blessings, uh, VJA from Goa in India, God bless you this morning, Halo Essex, blessings of the Lord on you, Durban, South Africa, please VJA in Goa, spread the tidings around, let people know they can draw strength on this platform, Durban, South Africa, Saubo Nakunjani. The Lord bless you this morning. May the veil, London, may you be blessed. May you be highly favored. Been to Durban two times. Lansing, Michigan, the Lord bless you richly. Croydon and Surrey, be blessed, be highly favored. East Dulwich, blessings. Port Hackett, Nigeria, blessings. New Cross in Southeast London, the Lord bless you richly. Uh, it is Shadabaro Bayeku, Lagos, Nigeria, that's part of the Great Ikorodu where we held our crusade. The Lord bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Ikare, Nigeria, blessings. Lucian, Bromley, Lucian, blessings. Middlesbrough, blessings. Port Harcourt, blessings of the Lord on you today. Mekolo Janayi Kekoso. Brixton Hill, the Lord bless you richly. Uh, I see this name. I know that this name is uh, Jamaica. The Lord bless you richly. You know, some people have been with us since lockdown of COVID and stayed faithfully. Omaha in the United States, blessings. Tulls Hill, Tulls Hill, South, 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 West London. God bless you richly this morning. Abakaliki, Abakaliki, Nigeria blesses. Dagnam Heathway, be blessed, be highly favored. Spintex Road, Accra, Ghana. The Lord bless you this morning. May you be favored, may you be lifted. And may you be victorious, Jesus' name. Kusula Yanesha, Telereka, Fairfax, Virginia, blessings on you. Brixton Hill, blessings on you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nayadeshta, Tis Kalorados, Nasarawa, Lafia, Lafia, Nasarawa, Nigeria, blessings. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord this morning. Somebody is going to be encouraged, lifted, victorious. Warwick shall be blessed, be highly favored. Barking in Essex. Blessings on you. Today, Tilo, Telebi, Teledush, Kedi, Telebrana, Croydon. God bless you richly today. Hallelujah. Luganda in Uganda. God bless you today. Walton Cross. 
Uh, that is Northwest London. The Lord bless you this morning. Not well. Walton Cross. No West London blessings. My London is beginning to be wobbly. God bless you richly. Rabat uh, Lady Green Forward West London blessings on you. Uh, Swiss Cottage, the Lord bless you richly. Salzburg in Austria, blessings on you. When you've been to Vienna. The Lord bless you richly. Blythe in the United Kingdom, the Lord bless you. Jalango, Nigeria, blessings on you today. Beagles Wade in Bedfordshire, blessings. Nova Scotia in Scotland. I beg your, I beg your pardon, Canada, blessings. Abidjan, be blessed, be highly favored. Walton Cross is in Hertfordshire. I, okay, Walton Cross is still. Okay, I thought it was West London. God bless you richly. Uh, praise the Lord. San Ramon, California. Be blessed, be highly favored. Viev Abuja, God bless you, Viev. Brixton Hill, the Lord bless you this morning. May you be highly favored, may you be lifted. New York, Queens in New York, blessings of the Lord on you today. And Tebe in Uganda, the Lord bless you. Kiambu in Kenya, God bless you. St. Petersburg, Russia, blessings on you today. And the peace of the Lord be with you, Jesus' name. Dawaki Extension in Abuja, Braintree, Essex. Blessings, blessings in the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord this day. Redbridge in Essex, be blessed and favored. Lester, the Lord bless you richly. Koshayada, Terebo Soya. Another Port Harcourt, be blessed and highly favored. Korodu, Lagos, Nigeria, where we had our crusade. God bless you. Kiambu, Kenya, blessings. Ah, yeah, there was nothing I mean. God bless you richly today. Woodford Green in Essex, favor on your life. Jamaica, the Lord bless you richly today. Jesus' name. Jesus name we like to welcome celebrate appreciate everyone who's joining us Islington be blessed be highly favored we trust the Lord to bless you today Reading in Berkshire blessings 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 may you be highly favored TNT Trinidad and Tobago welcome this morning may the Lord uphold you strengthen you in the name of Jesus it's a long time I saw a Kenrouton. God bless you. Peace on you, Diovu Benis. I know her French is very good. This morning, I trust the Lord that you will really, really, really be blessed. The hand of the Lord will touch you and you will not be the same. Psalm 68 verse 1 says, Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Every time I read this scripture, one of the pictures I have is when we were kids and we had to go taunt, forgive my French, forgive me. We have to go taunt some Sacramento, California. Blessings on you. Some and uh, Northern Ireland. God bless you this morning. Some old man. And then when he rises, we now all run. We all run. So the Bible makes us understand when God arises, his enemies scatter. You gotta learn that God is trying to tell you, leave the battle to me. It is my fight. If you leave it to me, if you wait on me, if you call on my name, if you cry out to me, I will take care of it. If you believe in me, I will make a difference. If you invite me to the Matapa, Katalishka, Di Brodoska, Talari, Italy, Remadara, Kabaga, Rodosia, I will take care of it. God respects your right to fight your own battle. He won't interfere with your plans. He will, he will even let you go wrong until you invite him in. That's why he's now saying, hey, let, let. 
So when you let God, you will see his hand. And I believe with somebody this morning, you will see the hand of the Lord for victory. Sometimes the attack comes on your body. God has a remedy for that attack in the name of Jesus. Sometimes the attack comes on your mind. God has the answer in the name of Jesus. Sometimes it is attacks on your children. God has the remedy in the name of Jesus. It could be attack on your marriage. God has the remedy in the name of Jesus. The list goes on. But one thing is very clear. That no problem you face, no enemy you face, nothing you face that takes God by surprise. Long before the sickness arose or hit your body, that thing is God's enemy. The challenge is God's enemy. Long before that demon of fear attacked your mind, it was God's enemy. Long before the devil went after your children, he was God's enemy. Long before poverty and lack stretched their bony fingers like Freddy Krueger, some, some, some horror spirit, God knew they were already God's enemies and he is going to give you victory. And so you want you, God wants you to arise and he wants to arise in you today and scatter your enemies. The Holy Spirit is on standby right now, waiting to be invited into the battle to give you victory, to give you testimony. God hates the things that hurt you. It hurts God to see his children hurt. But I believe what hurts him most is to watch us try on our own to do what he has offered to do for us and in us. Where is God and when will he arise? Where is God going to arise? Not out of the sky. When the Bible says, let God arise, we're not waiting to see a chariot of fire come down from the sky. Not in the middle of the street, not in him showing up in a car back from the future or to the future like Michael J. Fox. He's going to arise inside you. God will arise inside you. Sudden boldness will come upon you. Sudden grace will come upon you. Your prayer life baptized. He's going to stand up from the inside of you. First John chapter 4 verse 4 says, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So listen, listen, listen. When the God says, let me arise, he wants you to realize that he's going to arise through you in your prayer, in your worship, in your waiting on him. As you speak the word, you give God the access with the permission, the release. Look at it this way. Did you know that if someone had demons inside them, you can't go tell God, come and get this demon out of this man. No, 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 no. He expects you to be the one to lay hand on that person and say, you foul spirit, come out of him. When you do that, through you, permission has been given to God. You are not the one technically really that has the power to take out the demon. He is the one. But God has arranged it in such a way that he wants to use you. So when the Bible says, let God arise, it's not arising from the horizon and you see, hey, God has risen, he's coming. Or he's coming from the sky. You saw a chariot. No, 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 no. Let God arise means from inside of you. New strength, new vision, new power, new capacity to take over, to overcome. God's power is going to be revealed in you, through you. And the rest of that verse says, let them also that hate him begin to run. Let them that hate him begin to run. Because those who hate God express it through hatred to you. You see, what do you mean? Yeah. When men want to show their hatred for God, when Satan wants to show his hatred for God, he attacks you. Because he knows that you want to get at a mother who has spills of babies, 
maybe a, a dog that has had spills of babies. Go touch her babies. Oh my God, or some, you know, chick. You know, in Europe we have all our chicken and poultry. But follow me to some African backyard where the, ch the mother hen is moving around with her little chicks and they're picking little thing. You touch a one little chick, you will see a mother. All her feathers will rise. The mother will come after you, though she's not more than this size, just like the size of a ball. She thinks she can take you on. She thinks she can take you on. I saw the other day on TikTok, this mother hen, a cobra comes in, wants to take one of her chicks. The mother hen came against the cobra, man. Chased a cobra. That's how God rises. Let God arise. Something inside that mother hen welled up to fight a cobra. This morning, victory is coming to you. You're in your prayers, in your crying to God. Something awesome is coming on you. Glory to God. The devil is attacking you because he hates God. And the only way he can hurt God is by hurting God's children. It's, that's the only way by hurting God's children, but he has failed because your father will rise for you. Your father will fight for you. Your father will come through you and win in this battle in the name of Jesus. God arise means that his presence explodes inside us. Our prayer level changes. I don't know if you sometimes observe. When suddenly I just see a revelation or feel a thing, it's just like my prayer the gear changes because I can I just feel the victory coming I feel the fire of the prayer so let God arise <laughs> let those who hate him flee it means the tangible manifest presence of God is going to be magnified and multiplied Nalesha. it means that there is such a tangible presence of God that demons flee from they flee they flee. They flee. Tata, Torah, Praketo Soka, Rikeleba Talarara, Riko Shai Kabran Delish and Norabi. Ra. It means the presence of God becomes so powerful, so present. His presence becomes so present and so intense that demons cannot stand it. Who is he? Who is that demon? When the presence of the Lord comes, diseases die in his presence. This morning, somebody's going to have victory. Fear melts away in his presence. Bondages, habits, addictions disintegrate in his presence. Father, in the name of Jesus, we glorify you this morning. We thank you for the benefit of access. The privilege of access. We thank you for being called your children. Our names are written in the book of life. We thank you for the power that works in us and now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, exceedingly, abundantly above all we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being the God who lives in us. You don't just live in the sky for being the God who walks through us. Alibedota, Iliberita, Renebedote, Shkayedebo, Brande, Skebelo, Tabara, Hideri, Ambra, Dorosh, Kedea, Abro, Ndora, Kere, Rabros, Tereda, Hiborodosha, Hidededa, Hidadedos, Andadirinka, Marados. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We magnify your name. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your power. We thank you for another week you've given to us. We thank you for victories of the past. We thank you for open doors of the past. We thank you for, for the things you've done in the past. For provisions, provisions, provisions. This poor man cried. And the Lord heard him. And delivered him from all his troubles. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Savior, we bless you. Kadidi di derama tosha. Ma kedidi di de bambros. Rodali rebere dorante. Maliko talare boshka. Tariborosike a de barita la ritara di baradi 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 baradosha. 
thank you. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for delivering us. Thank you for breaking the power of the enemy. Thank you for shutting the mouth of devils. Thank you. Thank you for rising for us when we had no one to fight for us. You rose for us. You fought for us. We bless your name. Awesome God. Mighty God. Glorious God. Gracious God. Awesome God. Healing God. Deliverance God. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him begin to pack their load and flee. Ah, Lord, we thank you. This morning we come before you. We declare and decree God is arising for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is arising for us against all manners of issues. As we come to the end of the year, I prophesy into your life, God is rising for you. God is rising for you. God is rising for you. Talidisha. God is rising for you. Talish, Hidesha, Hibosha, Hikate, Ronas, Makesh, Hiradosa, Reko Tale, Ariba Kosotaya, Rekeko, because of this rising God. I prophesy on somebody this morning that bondages that have held you, their power is being broken. 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 Habits that are limiting your success, limiting your access, limiting your possessions, limiting your blessings, addictions that are holding you down from this morning. Let God arise. 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 Let them disintegrate in his presence. Ayara Maliko. What is the power of that ice in the presence of fire? The eyes must melt. We declare this morning, everything that I've ganged up against your peace, ganged up against your joy, ganged up against your life, this day, because of the presence of the Lord, they disintegrate, they disintegrate, they disintegrate. The hand of the Lord is magnified in your life. This morning, how about Tashka? Let God arise. God arises against frustration. You don't know that. Tenedishka, Pranosa, anything that have ganged up to frustrate you, God arises against it. 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 Every kind of thing trying to frustrate your dream, frustrate your vision, frustrate your purpose, frustrate your calling. Ah, Barato, Hitika, Tranoski, Adabedora. Everything coming together, you've made effort, you've paid the price, you've sown seed, you've cried, you've prayed, and then there's a frustration somewhere, and you're wondering, I have prayed, I have done all I know to do. Why is this happening this day? Let God arise against every frustration. Let God arise against every frustration. Let God arise against every frustration. Let God arise. Against every frustration, let God arise. Let God arise. What wants to frustrate your dream? We frustrate it. <laughs> the Bible says God frustrates the token of liars. Every instrument of frustration to frustrate your financial dream, to frustrate your health, to frustrate your vision in life, to frustrate your destination, to frustrate your journey, to frustrate your marriage, we take authority over it, we break its grip, we break its power, we break its grip. We break its power. 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 Tatita, Tatita, Tatita. Harido, Halida, Hireno, Shanedi, Karara, Hirera. It disintegrates in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Alikedora, Hirabarada, Hiramarado, Hishakalari, Habarodosi, Tararara, Hikatutura, Hibradorosi, Taraninida, Hamataleri, Hatarose, Kalereba, Habratolora, everything that I've ganged up to try to frustrate your calling, frustrate your vision, frustrate your journey. We frustrate the very frustrator, that thing that I've made up his mind that will stop you. 
kaira rara nishali deba hukaza rara ira raruru zende yeleba makero rosa italere rara in jesus name let god arise let god arise let god arise let god arise this morning i declare god will arise for you wherever you are and you're hearing the sound of my voice it's going to be a good week because you will see god rise for you what you have not been able to do for months and years frustration is over frustration is over the haniko tali break as in do tali you know about it as a servant of jesus christ and joining my faith with yours we prove we prove we prophesy after the order of jeremiah 29 11 these are the plans i have for you good plans are not evil to give you a future and a hope so we impose the plan of God on your situation. We impose the plan of God on your life. We impose the plan of God against every frustration. We impose the plan of God against every gimmick, every program, every lie, every trick, every sort of work of the enemy. We impose the plan of God. 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 Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Every power that hates to see you laugh, that hates to see you happy, scatter by the fire of God. Every program, every power that hates the sound of joy in your house, that hates the sound of blessing in your house. That hates the sound of good news in your house. Let them scatter. 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 Barosh Kidia. The name of Jesus. This morning I declare decree. Everything. <laughs> every time there's a, a breakthrough in the cooking. A blessing in the motion. Every time there is a miracle in the motion. They just rise. I say, no, no, the miracle must not happen. Today, we scatter you. Today, we scatter you. Today, we scatter you. Today, we scatter you. The counsel of the Lord will stand. We hold on to that prophetic word. That before Christmas, a big one is coming. Libodosha, Libitosha, Riketesha, Marotokosia, Iritalaribo, Ramatoloskiria. That big one that God said he would do in your life. Before Christmas, I prophesy its manifestation. I prophesy its manifestation. I prophesy its manifestation. I prophesy its manifestation. I prophesy its manifestation in the name of Jesus. Totate tita ta tu tu raketa ti ranosa ikirada hitoroda. It remains 35 days to Christmas. Ah! In the next 35 days, the big one is coming. 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 The big one. Akota, Hitata, Hironda. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. I saw a revelation of a person wearing an old, old jacket that have grayed out grayed out just old and you're still managing it and the lord comes i said it's time for you to surrender it so we remove that old we wear you with the new you are coming out of the old you are coming into the new for whom this prophetic word is you are coming out of the old you are coming into the new you are coming out of the old. You are coming into the new. Tata, hidu, hida, hibra kushkadiala, hiranabrosi telikaba. We tear off that cloth of old. We put on on you the cloth of new. Nazikuya, rekotali, hikaba rotali, remaza rotoshi, de de da de da da de de titala de de moza. In Jesus' name, this morning, the miracle that will make you forget your past of pain. The miracle that will make you forget your past of trouble. The miracle that turn around. The favor, the testimony that will make you forget the past of trouble. The past of shame. The past of embarrassment. Receive. 
receive, 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 receive in the name of Jesus. The miracle that will make you forget the past of embarrassment. The miracle that will make you forget the past of shame, the past of pain, the past of trouble. Let God arise. 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 Ah. Let God arise. Do you know that when a helper arises for you, a helper tr truly wants to help, everyone will just know that something is happening. There's a person somewhere helping that man. There's a person somewhere helping that woman. Same thing, I prophesy unto your life. The kind of help that cannot be hidden, the kind of help that cannot be kept under the table, even if you want to hide it, it's too big, too blessed, too nice, too sweet, too awesome, too great, too magnificent to be hidden. Receive in the name of Jesus. God will help you. I declare again, God will help you. So that thing that wants to take laughter from your mouth, that wants to take dancing from your feet, that thing that wants to take celebration from your household, scatters by the power of God. Scatters by the power of God. Taish to Hidirika. Ranosi and Antelirosa and Idari. Riku to Tali Brozo Telidi. Naka Kuzuya. Are you ready? Let God arise. Let God arise. Somebody this morning, for your sake, God will arise. Even change the rules so that you can be lifted. Change the rule so that you can be lifted. Change the rule so that you can be lifted. In Bible times, firstborns have to be in front. God changed the rule for Ephraim and put Ephraim the younger in front. The, father, the grandfather, Jacob, crossed his hands and placed the right hand. In Hebrew culture, the right hand is used for the transmission of blessing. My mother culture is so similar to the culture of the Hebrews. <laughs> In my mother culture, you used to left hand for dirty things, all that. <laughs> I give my friend, you go to the bathroom, you use your left hand. In my mother culture. Same with the Hebrews. And then with the right hand, blessing is transferred. So Jacob put his right hand on the head of Ephraim. Ah! When God rises for you, you don't qualify naturally, but God will rise for you. You don't qualify physically, but God will rise for you. You don't qualify by education. But God will rise for you. You don't qualify by the kind of money or influence you have. But when God arises, when God arises, Thank God. When God arises, his enemies will be scattered. When God arises, everyone will know God have risen for this woman. God have risen for this man. When God turned the captivity of Zion, we were like dreamers. After the order of Ephraim, after the order of Ephraim, God will put you in front. After the order of Ephraim, God will put you in front. He took Ephraim and placed all of the blessing of the patriarchs on Ephraim. It was on Joseph and through Joseph to Ephraim. And truly, when you go on to read the Bible, Ephraim became bigger. Manasseh became smaller and smaller. When we hear of one great person from the house of Manasseh, and that is Gideon. Ephraim became mightier. This morning, God will arise for you. You were small in your own sight, but the lifting of God will come. 
you were tiny in your own side, but the lifting of God is coming. You were nothing in your own side, but the lifting of God is coming. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. In healing, in miracles, in word of knowledge, in supernatural turnaround. Kadotini, katatuno, kadatiti, koradana, tiditora, tilibara, shatu, sika, hito, shati, rato, tisha, rikituri, kabaru, kuteliri, nitala, rikito, la, riboto, lora, ma. His cabrosa ita librota, he cosa tito rama kata di cosica. Thank you, Jesus. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. The God who changed the rule for Ephraim and put the little boy in front. The boy didn't even know what he was receiving. He will change the rule for you. He will change the rule for you. He will arise 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 for you in the name of Jesus. Let God arise. Let God arise. Anyone plotting against your destiny and wasting their time, God will arise for you. God will arise up for you. They are plotting. Ah, the Bible says the enemy said, I will meet him. I will eat him. I will destroy him. I will kill him. But God arose. God arose. Miriam and Moses wrote in their song in Exodus 15, the enemy said, I'll catch up with him. I'll kill him. I'll tear them to pieces. I'll do this. But God arose. The counsel of hell concerning you is canceled by the blood. The counsel of hell concerning you is Cancelled by the blood. The counsel of hell concerning you is cancelled by the blood. The counsel of hell concerning you is cancelled by the blood. God rises for you. God rises for you. Every demonic dragon walking against your joy, your life, your peace, your vision, your dream. Every demonic dragon. They belong in hell. They go to hell. They go to hell. They go to hell. In the name of Jesus, they go to hell. They go to hell. In the name of Jesus, they go to hell. They go to, their power over you is broken. Their grip over you is broken. Their rejoicing over you comes to an end. Kalijuna parito, lidi kiri talaro, rosi kaidali, ikarabosh kadi, tabrosa. Let God arise. This morning I prophesy on your life. Let God arise. Maeda, Alesha, Baraze, Rosha, Keborosa. Let God arise. In the name of Jesus. Bakutali Kuzunama. Hirabo Shirida Hiridadi. Let God arise. I declare, I decree this morning. In the name of Jesus, let God arise. Kaba Horo Hiri Hiri Hara Hishka Hira Horo Higa Habra Horo Hoski Hira Har Habra Honto Hindi Ashki Hade Bra So Hiti Hat Hara Mra Hos Hika Hetro Hishkadia. Let God arise by the power of the living Christ. Let God arise in the name that is above all names. Let God arise. I prophesy on you this morning. Let God arise in the mighty name of Jesus. Let God arise by the power of the living God. Let God arise. Let God arise in the name that is above all names. Let God arise. I declare to your life today. Let God arise. Yadai, 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 Talara, Levora. By the blessings of the God of covenant, let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let every blessing that follows is rising. Let it follow you. Are you ready for some of them this morning? Health is in the covenant. May God rise for your health. May God rise for your healing and health. For your healing and health, I lay hand this morning. I curse sickness. I curse disease. I cancel the, the, the opinion of medicine. I cancel the opinion of the medical world. I speak into your body right now. I speak healing. I speak health. 
I see somebody that has a part of your body that looks foggy. And maybe they've even told you that it looks cloudy. They want you to come back for some check. Well, we're going to do some Holy Ghost check this morning. I can see the person that's this, that's this, this mass area. And it just looks foggy. Ah, and it's spreading faster than the day they give you. Hiraba, Hirota. Because sometimes the medical world just, 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 I don't understand them. The girl for whose operation we paid for them to walk on her face three weeks before our crusade. It's now two weeks after the crusade. They haven't done it. They're still saying maybe this week. And we paid you fully in advance. I just think some people just lose a sense of feeling. The girl's face is like two faces at the go. And we paid for almost four or five weeks. I paid fully the amount you charged. I said she should come this week for them to now examine to see how they will do it. Five weeks. I don't know how the girl has been breathing. Jesus. So the medical world lives in his own zone. I see this person. It's fog inside you. I see something and the thing is spreading. Hey, God, you are the one who created flesh and blood. You are the one who created people's body. So this morning we speak to that body. We speak health. We speak healing. 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 We speak health. We speak healing in the name of Jesus. This blessing is in the covenant. God will arise for your health and healing. God will arise for your health and healing. You will not die. You would live to declare the glory of God. Financial supply is in the covenant. Let God arise for your finances. Somebody is coming out of indebtedness. Somebody is coming out of indebtedness. Somebody is coming out of indebtedness. Someone is coming out of indebtedness. Ah, let God arise. Let God arise. That crushing indebtedness that is making you sleepless, afraid. Oh, they might take my house. They might take my this. They might take my car. They might take this. I cancel by the blood. You will see the finger of God in this season of your life. You will see the intervention of Jehovah in this season of your life. My God is a debt canceling God. My God is a debt canceling God. In the days of Nehemiah, they canceled the debt of the people. My God is a debt canceling God. Ah, in the days of Jesus, he sent Peter. And enough money came from the mouth of the fish to cancel their tax bill. My God is a debt canceling God. Let God arise in the realm of your finance. That financial sweat. Financial sweat. That you have sweated for nothing. I pour you out of it in the name of Jesus. Believers go through so much, so much, so much. When their father owns the cattle upon a thousand hills, a lot of Christians, their life is a contradiction. Ah, you love God. Something has to change. This morning, therefore, let God arise for your finances. 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 When the Bible says he was blessed, the word Barak, blessed, Omakarios, blessed, favored, fortunate, moving forward, multiplying, that's the meaning of Makarios, blessed, moving forward, progressive, achieving, irrespective of immediate circumstance. Matthew chapter 5 from verse 5. The beatitude there in the, in the, in the Amplifier said, Bless, happy, fortunate, progressive, irrespective of immediate circumstance. From today, irrespective of what you see, you are making progress. You are making progress. You are coming out of debt. You are coming out of indebtedness. You are coming out of indebtedness. You are coming out of indebtedness. Let God arise. Pull you out of it. 
you shall be sleepless no more. You shall be sleepless no more. For money, you shall be sleepless no more. This morning also, peace is part of the blessing. Let God arise for your peace. Let God arise for your peace. Isaiah 26 verse 3. Let God arise for your peace. Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. Let God arise for your peace. Let God arise for your peace. Jesus said, my peace I live with you. Let God arise for your peace. Isaiah 26 verse 3. He will, he will keep in perfect peace whose mind is rested on it. This day, peace, peace. Everyone is troubled. Is there a world war coming? Is there global trouble coming? Israel is fighting Hamas. Ukraine is fighting Russia. I prophesy peace in your heart, peace in your life. It is not your portion. You will not know destruction. Ah, your God will not allow His Holy One to see corruption. I declare into your life, peace of God, peace of God. I speak into your life today also, protection. Let God arise for your protection. Let God arise. Anything hell is planning in its closet shall be exposed to you. I prophesy on you this day in the name that is above all name, the peace that passes understanding. Let God arise for your protection. Every arrow of darkness goes back where it came from. Every hand of Satan goes back where it came from. This ember month, you will finish it well. As the Lord lives, you will not be a victim of accidents. You will not be a victim of poison. You will not be a victim of sudden death. God will keep you. God will keep you. You saw the beginning of this year. God will keep you all through this year. You will see the coming year. You will see long life in the name of Jesus. Ah, this morning let God arise for your long life. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my deliverance. The word my salvation there means deliverance. I speak into your life this day. God will satisfy you with long life. God will satisfy you with long life. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 91 verse 16. With long life will I satisfy him. Him and show you my salvation. I speak into your life today. God has called you to long life and healthy life. Even if they die young in the family you came from, don't you know that you have been engrafted into the family of God? A new blood flows into your life. It is the blood of Emmanuel. You will live long. You will live strong. You will live long. You will live strong. Don't let the devil quote to you. One Christian who died early. Another one who died young. <laughs> Leave those mysteries. Face your own testimony. You will live long. You will live long. You will live long. Kakuta kuta ti se ti prakito nisha ti ta ti runako sota riki tosa ti ta ta even if, even if genetically, people your size, your age die young, you will live long. In the name of Jesus, God will show you his salvation with long life. He will satisfy you with long life. We satisfy you. He will love. <laughs> length of days. Length of years in strength. Length of days and years in strength. Length of days and years in strength. Length of days and years in strength. He kaposa he totati randi he ingurasi he jalibra ri kabato barosa lisha ramante lire borosa. I will satisfy him with long life. I will let him see my salvation. 
the net Bible. I will let him see my salvation. What is a salvage? Salvation. It is to bring out. It is to not let perish. It is to deliver. God will deliver you from the plague of early death. Your life will defy opinions. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Part of the blessing of God is perfect gift. The Bible says every good gift and every perfect gift is from on high. I lay hand on you this morning. Let God arise with a perfect gift for you this Christmas. He told us that between now and Christmas, there is a big one coming. I hold on to that word. I hold on to it tight. So let there be a perfect gift. Have you ever been given a perfect gift before? <laughs> I don't know. Somehow, every as, as Christmas is approaching, as EMC has a cunning way of asking me question about what I need. And by the time the gift comes, it is too perfect. It may just be one, I mean, it may just be one simple slippery sandal. And it is just, it is just, now imagine Jehovah. Imagine Jehovah, every good and perfect gift, perfect. The kind which you say, I can't find any fault here. This is just, in fact, you want to, you want to launch it. Receive that kind of perfect gift from the Lord. Receive that kind of perfect gift from the Lord. Receive that kind of perfect gift from the Lord. In the name of Jesus. The perfect gift. Perfect gift. Receive, 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 receive in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Ranoshataya Kariba Katala Reka let God arise with a perfect gift for you in this season between now and Christmas. Adikadita Waramatuta Ishkadida Hebranosi Itarinke Avaranonte Hiregebora It comes into your life. Your eye will see it, your hand will touch it, your mouth will testify in the name of Jesus. Your hand will touch it, your eyes will see it, your mouth will testify. Rika da let God arise, let God arise, let God arise, let God arise, let God arise. There is a blessing of the Lord that he arises for. The blessing of deliverance. It is as if there is some demon entity out there that likes to end the year licking people's blood. Not yours. Not yours. Akayata Harabaka. We cover your household. We cover your family. We cover you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will not deliver you to the will of your enemies. Psalm 41 verse 2. The Lord will not deliver you to the will of your enemies. The Lord will not deliver you to the will of your enemies. The Lord will not deliver you to the will of your enemies. Sometimes you just find some of you can't just handle your blessing. That's so angry. They are waiting for evil news. Going to the realm of the spirit. Every lie, every satanic plot, every program that he had prepared to frustrate you as we come to the end of the year or the beginning of another one, we cancel it with the blood of Jesus. We cancel. We cancel. We cancel. We cancel. We cancel. We cancel. In the name of Jesus, let God arise. Let God arise also. And strengthen you out of the bed of sickness. Psalm 41 verse 3. Anyone hearing me this morning? I curse sickness. I curse disease. I rebuke anything in your bloodstream. Waiting to explode and cause a shutdown. Malaria parasite is killed by the power of the or by the power of the Lord. Any form of flu, Asian, Russian, German, whatever place it came from, it's not from heaven. Ah, 
today the blood of Emmanuel, the blood of Jesus cancels it. Any other thing in your stream, in your body, in your system, waiting to shut you down, receive your healing. Somebody this morning, the enemy is meaning to shut your body down by one of those kind of diseases when the body fights itself. Lou Gehrig disease, Parkinson's disease, all kinds of nervous diseases. Be healed. You have already seen elements of some of them. Your hand is beginning to shake. I curse that shaking. I command total victory. 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 I rebuke dementia. Your mind will be sharp. Your mind will be straight. Your mind will be great. Your mind will be awesome. Ha! Tronobia Tilishka de Talibra knows the body. Rado Sitara. Dementia will not be in your household. Dementia will not be in your family. In the name of Jesus. And anyone who's sick, Psalm, Psalm 41. I prophesy to your body, God will heal you. He's bringing you out of the bed of sickness. You will not lie down on the bed of languishing. We pull you out of the bed of languishing. We pull you into total victory. And then Psalm 41. A final blessing there is blessed. Verse 2. You will be blessed on the earth. I speak into your life today. The blessing of the new covenant. Every blessing that God has for you is coming on your life. The blessing of the new covenant, blessed with joy, blessed with peace, blessed with health, blessed with goodness, blessed with grace, blessed with favor, blessed with family that loves you, blessed with children that celebrates you. Psalm 41 verse 2, the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive and he shall be blessed upon the earth. Not waiting for our crown in heaven. Jesus told Peter, he said, while you are here, you will have a hundredfold. Wow. What is hundredfold? Maximum. How can the Bible say those things? And we live one fold instead of hundred. Jesus told Peter, he said, Jesus, we have followed you. What is our benefit? Jesus said, you followed me. In this world, you will have a hundredfold. And he want to come eternal life. This morning, the Lord will preserve him, keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. So this morning, I prophesy unto your life, God will arise for your blessing. 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 God arises for your blessings. 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 Financial breakthrough will be your portion. Health breakthrough will be your portion. In the name of Jesus, all manners of breakthrough will be your portion. Breakthrough to the left, breakthrough to the right. This week, <laughs> I just saw it again. I love this one. Beautiful door opening. Massive door. Hey, please let me know when that door opens. I see a major door opening. Get ready, get ready. The door will open for you. I close this morning's morning glow by declaring into your life, God who is rich in mercy, his great love will with which he loved you shall manifest Ephesians 2 4 I speak into your life this day the mercy of the Lord shall be upon you second Corinthians 1 3 I declare into your life today in the name of in the name of Jesus the eye of the Lord will be upon you Psalm 33 verse 18 I speak into your life this day Psalm 102 verse 13 the time to favor you has come the time to lift you up has come. The time to bless you has come. The time to decorate you with the goodness of the Lord has come. Ah, I speak into your life this morning as uh, Jeremiah. He said, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? God will do what looks hard for man. The God will turn five fishes five uh, loaves of bread and two fishes to feed 5,000 people with 12 baskets left over shall surprise you in this season of your life. Get ready. You will walk the value of the shadow of death and you will fear no evil. If you fly, you will arrive. If you drive, you will get there. If you are in a train, you will get to where you are going. Hurry! As you knock in this season, John 16, 24, the door will open. 
I prophesy as you ask, you will receive. As you seek, you will find. As you knock, the doors will open. I see it again. Somebody has wept a lot in recent time, and I saw, I saw that tear being wiped. I saw the tear not only wiped, I saw I see even the same hand wiping your tear, washing your face so that from tears to, 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 <laughs> to triumph, from crying to courage, from pain to praise. This is your portion. This is your story. This is your testimony in the name of Jesus. It shall manifest. Your eyes will see it. Your mouth will testify. It's going to be a good year, ending greatly. These 35 days to Christmas, get ready, a major one. If small ones open, thank God for it. Show gratitude on your way to the great ones also. And when it happens, let us know it has happened. God has given you the testimony in Jesus' name. Well, glory to God. We're going to close very soon, just a couple of announcements. I will close very soon with a prophetic word. Don't miss this morning's prophetic word. It's going to be a very strong one, very strong one. Don't miss it by any time. This is the week of the Winning Women's Conference. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Thriving. What does thriving mean? It means you sow a seed, it begins to germinate, and it begins to do well. The word of the Lord will be sown into your life, and it shall do well. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. The conference will be awesome. It will be a blessing. You can actually join the women's conversation. Ask questions or share a comment. Just, uh, just go to Slido and use the, quote, uh, the code there. And you can leave questions. Uh, if you just uh, actually just scan the barcode it will take you straight straight and then you are able to put all the things you want to put also the winning women's convention there is also a barcode for you to be able to access maybe registration etc etc praise the lord praise the lord it will be a blessing it will be awesome in case you didn't know, KICC Radio now exists, and you can hear our messages on a regular basis. You feel like Pastor Matthew on a day, just go to KICC Radio. And I do hope they have lined up the one, the Power Positive Confessions. It would be great if they have that lined up. Don't forget, between now and December 15, you still have days to be able to invite people. People need to know the Lord. People need to know Christ. That is why I'm already carrying a burden in my heart. Seeing what the Lord did in Ikorodu and knowing that even if I did two times a year, Africa is exploding. Please start praying along with me. I want to hold a conference for evangelists in March called Cure Africa. Cure Africa 2024. What is Cure? C-U-R-E. It means Conference of Urban and Regional Evangelists. I want to bring them together. Bring some major people who will challenge them, charge them, stretch their mind. Put some fire on their tail like Samson put fire on the tail of those foxes and send them out. We're going to call them to come from the French world, from the from the English world, across Africa, even those who speak Spanish, like uh, what are the nations in Africa that speak Spanish? I only know of one island. Uh, what's the name of the island? I can't even remember the name. Somewhere, somewhere near Nigeria. And a few that speak Portuguese, Angola, Mozambique, Guinea-Bissau. I don't even know what they speak in Guinea-Bissau. I think it's Portuguese. Yeah, I think it's Portuguese. We're going to go spread the message to all those evangelists to come to Lagos for three days. We're going to get speakers to really stretch their mind. Yeah, Equatorial Guinea speaks Spanish. Equatorial Guinea, just below Nigerian Cameroon, speaks Spanish. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be powerful. We're closing this morning. I'm sure you were blessed. I'm sure the Lord touched you. I'm sure the Lord impacted your life. 
I'm sure you were blessed. Let God arise. This morning I close by challenging you that by right of your redemption, you carry the DNA of God. There is a giant in you. You shall not go down. You shall rise. You will be a testimony. As you follow the steps of Jesus Christ, I declare and decree into your life that you, the giant in you will manifest. Matthew 4.19 As you commit to the steps that Abraham took, Abraham took by obeying God in every divine instruction, you will be a global conglomerate, a global giant, a global testimony. The hand of the Lord shall be upon you in a mighty great way. You will bless your generation. You will bless your generation. You will bless your generation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Every time you come on morning glow. Take the time to give an offering. Take the time to sow seed. Don't even wait for the call to be made. One more time, we celebrate all those who participated in the crusade in Ikorudu. We bless the Lord for you. We ask God's blessings on your life. God's grace to manifest for you. We're still picking and receiving testimonies. We're meeting with the pastors there just to encourage them. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We still need to pick up a lot of medical bills. The Lord lays on your heart to do something. We appreciate greatly, greatly, it's like loads, 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 loads of bills. And uh, yeah, it's a crusade, but uh, laborers are worthy of their hire. Want to be able to celebrate all those who came to minister in songs and all those who spoke at the pastor's conference. Because the laborer is worthy of his hire. That's the word of the Lord. We can't just ask them to come. And use their gift. The laborer is worthy of his hire. If they turn it down, it's a different thing. But the laborer is worthy of his hire. Thank you for joining us this morning. The Lord bless you at all times. May you be above only, never under. Winning, never losing. Victorious in the name of Jesus. Kodugu Benis. The Lord bless you richly. Do you still diga? Do you still sowing? Bwana kubariki. Nyamishra. Yibarikish. Mwariva kukumbrere. Iwomuzita ra yesu. Mkulunkulu agubusesi. Good morning. Saogona.